we can take this story and put it into this hogan. Today, we can put it into that hogan, and then just like in the black world, ah, the the first, the first fire, the first fire, edil tagi that represents our nesa case. That's your mind, that's your conscious, there's a light, there's an awakening. That fire, that lighter stick or that fire, that's your, that's your plan, that's your strategy. So we can take this content of of million billion years of of in, in that past tense that we can use that into our home. So you see a fire smoke hole coming out of that hogan. The next thing is ah the egg water top water has linked in the black world the creation of the black world because there's water in this hogan right here eh Right? So right there. In this creation over here, air. There's air there. There's not just one kind of air. There's like so a lot of times, eh, yeah, eh, um, when you turn on your your mind, or when you when you live, I guess you might say too, is that it's an act of prayer to breathe and live. <coughs> so so to zen beji na go ke yajit to hojo na shado to know eh you live. You breathe the oxygen. What is in the content of this oxygen? Air. That is Navajo. It's not Buddha. It's Navajo. It's not Christian. It's Navajo. We breathe in here. The yin ed on the the hot law, the hot the shin hot law, the it's in here. The hot the heat is in here inside our body. Aro toto, one hundred percent of our our life is water. The a di kote chegi we live here. Aro di kote a ya a when we say like chatitin, people see it as pollen, but it it represents the earth. It represents the the plants, the herbs. It could be an apple, it could be an orange, it could be a banana, it could be grapes. Everything that grows, that is vegetation, is eatable. Plants. There's all sorts of plants. There's native plants. There's plants that you can't you can't eat. There are plants that only animals eat, and there's medicine plants and all that that live. On this land, too, also. Ekhodeh has lean over here, and they survive through all these worlds, and they live here, too, also, among us. So, so bringing a sort of like an ancient story of the past and bringing it into a world that we live in today, that's knowledge, to understand that. It takes a, a, a good kind of thinking in mind. <coughs> from here, from today, 2010, if we keep drawing this line over here, it could be like right here. How about 100 years from now? <coughs> this knowledge is, is in danger right now. That language, that knowledge is, in, is a part of a it's in danger. We're going to lose it. Mm -hmm. it's, that's why that line goes down right there. See that line? Mm -hmm. So that knowledge, 
So one of these days, if we lose the Qur'an, ya we'll be looking into a science book and try to read and learn it. But the ya we have all this knowledge over here. Akogo, 100% IQ, Navajo knowledge and understanding. Our people live like that before the Europeans came to the southwest or to this region. So eh, that knowledge. Out of the eh, yeah, eh, the creation of the insects, spiders, that eh, just like on your paper here. So eh, the nan na just insect beam. There was no 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 light, but there was fire, there was water, there was plants, and then there are these um so air, the insects began to live. Who made insects? Who made all this? Yes. There is a Yasnitne Yami here. That is the creator. That is the mind, the intelligence that created the whole universe, sort of like. And <coughs> language-wise, there is no word for this. We say yasni ne yan, and we say so so, and we just say shitsui. It could be male or it could be female. Nobody can draw to that conclusion. Nobody can prove that. That Yahshinne Yan is a, a boy, a girl, uh, a man, or a woman, or a lady. So as far as we can tell our story is nobody has that level of knowledge. <coughs> nobody knows the gender to that Yahshinne Yan. Adajit, is our grandfather, the early spirit dawn. And the blue twilight spirit is our grandfather. The yellow evening spirit is our grandmother. And the falling darkness is our grandmother. We have that relation there. Yes. Out of the first man is our father. The first woman is our, our mother. <coughs> All these other species, they, they, they came into that existence. So that's how we have clan relation. That's how these relation or introduction of clans were established in this area. But just like in any place, there was a big old destruction. The first world was destroyed by fire. So that was the end of that world because of conflict. There was always that Separation, there's always that jealousy, the confusion, and all that. When that brought up, all that got political, that world was destroyed by fire. So some of these survivors, they came in into the next world. So right here, they call it Hajinne, into the blue world into the next world. When the, when the whole planet was in a ball of fire, some of these species, they survived. And they went on to the next world. Hajinne, when the planet cooled down, and here they emerged again. Other plants began to grow again. Like um, when you when you, when you burn something on the ground, all the way down to the, to, the, to the dirt, when the rain comes down again, out it, it sprouts out again. New plants grow. It form new life. So that became the blue world. So in this world, in all these worlds, Laws were established. In the in the black world, the natural laws 
we're 